All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Real Stocks. Don't make too many static videos, but I thought this was an interesting one. Um, so it's about 10, 16 in the morning in Arizona time. The market closes at two. So we're getting close to the halfway point and just finished up my Real Crypto Power Hour and notice that all of the MJ names today, almost all of them are have double digit gains. I almost think that a lot of institutions are putting MJ names on their books for the next year. I this could be a very early sign that they're starting to uh, continue or start to continue accumulating MJ stock positions. As you know, uh, I'm going to go to the MJ ETF here. Let's go to the weekly chart. The MJ weekly chart, uh, it's obliterated. It's completely destroyed. It's super low. And lo and behold, what we have here, and we noticed this in real time on the Real Stocks channel, is we had this, this week right here in November. We noticed this week... Um, we weren't buying this week, though. This you, you don't buy the first week of this. But what we have now is on many names, not every name, but on many names, we have lows that are being held. Let's go to the daily chart for some of these. So this is the MJ ETF. And so here's the low of 1595. You can see this is not the low over here. We've held the low. Very high volume candle yesterday. So they're eating up a bunch of shares yet there. They're eating up a bunch of shares today. Okay. So we're holding lows on many of these. We could be putting in some bottoming formations. I can't say 2020 is going to be a year where, you know, MJ is going to go up 400%, but it could. It, it's a possibility. Um, for those of you that are more knowledgeable in the, in the marijuana sector than I am, I'm not very knowledgeable in the sector in terms of names and the politics. 2020 is also an election year, so that could, that could bring, if there's a big big swing for legalizing marijuana, that could be a thing that moves a lot of these names up. But let's look at some individual names. MMNFF, this is a name that um, we've been following a lot of these for a long time. Actually, do I have a MJ playlist? Yeah, I've got it. Okay, so I've got an MJ list here. Here we go. Okay, so start off with Cron. This is going by percentage order. So Cron, you can see here, we put in a low down here of $6. We're currently at $7.59, not far off of the lows. Above, this is the 50 period moving average, actually crossing it for the first time in a long time. There's still some time left to go in the day, so we could reverse and this could be a large wick, which may negate this entire video, but I think it's an interesting enough situation um, where you could start to look at some longer term entries for MJ names. I'm talking a year plus, maybe maybe longer than that. If this goes into a multi-year bull cycle, you, you may want to hold some MJ names from down in this level. It is a possibility. These names are just utterly destroyed. Um, it's pretty bad. Let's go down a little bit further. I've got this for six months. Let's go back a couple of years. Most of these don't even go back that far. But Okay, so here we go. So Cron does go back that far. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cron goes back a while down to 29 cents. And you can see got up to about 25 bucks. And there's been a long downtrend this entire year almost. And so you can argue... We're holding this low back down from, you know, we had a parabolic rise here, went into form a large base. And this has been our price low at about the $6 level. We're only at 7 bucks. We're not far from that. I think uh, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to go look at some MJ names and try to take some positions. But, um, you, yeah, could be in a situation where we roll through. Could this pop up a little bit and fail? Absolutely. Could this do nothing all year? Absolutely. Could do that too. Could wait till the election. Could wait to the election, but you're seeing some accumulation signs. You're seeing higher lows, and uh, these names tend to get tend to get some movement in them. All right, next, what just happened there? Next up is Tilray. Uh, Tilray, a name that you know famously went to 300 from you know, nothing and went all the way back down to nothing. Talk about talk about a swing trade right there. That's crazy. Uh, so let's zoom in on Tilray here a little bit. So Tilray is one that made a lower low, okay? I think a lot of people are disillusioned from the fact that it went all the way up to $300. Um, but at a low, don't know if you want to pick up this name. You could, but I don't know. ACB, another one with another low. This one, a lot of people said was going to be the first profitable uh, marijuana name. I don't, it's not showing us earnings here. I'm not sure if it is or not, but, you know, very high volumes down here. Did make a lower low, but uh, a lot of volume, a lot of volume after that and not a tremendous amount of price progress to the downside. So shares are changing hands here. You just have to wonder if they're changing hands into longer term bag holders or maybe it's just short covering. 
Either way, you, you don't quite know. But this one also with a possibility, still well under the 50-day, which is this third blue line here. Uh, next up is CGC, which does have a higher low. Actually, it looks like a, maybe a minor island bottom down there. and eh, not quite an island bottom, but a higher low nonetheless breaking. Moving averages converging, which is good. So CGC showing a little bit of leadership, good volume from here. And uh, we, we'll see if we're going to bounce up higher from there. CGC could be a leader going forward uh, via this price action at the bottom. I just looked at Tilray. Uh, Alpha, I'm not familiar with Alpha off the top of my head. Afria, okay. So this one looks like finding a low here at about the $3 level. And also loosely with a slightly declining trend line that is trying to break through. And moving averages converging here. That's the 200 period moving average right there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what this one does. This one could get up with the rest of them. Some higher volumes. Looks like, looks like the volumes are diminishing. Also implying selling volume diminishing. So that could be that could work out well. We've already seen ACB. OGI, I'm not too familiar with this name. Um, I'm not sure if this is a NASDAQ stock or not. It doesn't say. Sometimes it says NASDAQ if it is. This may not be a NASDAQ stock. If this is an over-the-counter stock. It's going to be a little more risky. But um, resistance at that 50-day moving average right there coming down. But still a higher low on this one. And just tremendous volumes right here. So this could be an accumulation area for this particular name. And it's, it's, it's bouncing all over the place here. Uh, C C T S T, another name I'm not massively familiar with. Let's do something here. For some reason I got. Okay, so you can see here tremendous volumes from here, and it's slowly been diminishing. But we're going sideways here too, so we could be finding some support. This is a Nasdaq stock. Very interesting. Uh, basically, right at a dollar. If this gets delisted, I believe the Nasdaq has a dollar. Maybe a dollar twenty-five listing requirement. I'm not exactly sure. So if it stays too far under a dollar, they will get delisted. They may have to do a reverse stock split to stay on the Nasdaq. Uh, whatever this one is, CWBHV, not a very sexy name, which means, which probably is really why it hasn't had a lot of very sexy moves. A couple of big rallies here, but no majorly great chart patterns. Um, also into new lows here. That one may be a little more risky. Hexo, uh, gapping down here. That one also may be a little more risky. Can it's been drifting down for years now. I'm not sure you want to jump in front of that one quite yet. Uh, MJ's the marijuana ETF name. Uh, this one taking a lot of the names, Cron, ABC, CGC, Tilray into the fold. I think it has Hexo as well. And I and a couple other ones that aren't on here maybe. IIPR, this one's an interesting one. Um, I forget what these guys do. I think it's like actual medical like marijuana stuff. Not medical marijuana, selling marijuana, but... Medicine with marijuana. Uh, definitely a firm higher low. This one made a lower low via this action, but uh, recently putting in a higher low and could put in a situation where it gets a little bit more bullish. That's a much nicer view of this chart. Higher low right there. No major bottoming candles. That one's a bottoming candle, but um, if this can turn the tide, this one can get back up. And the good thing about this one is it's well off of the lows. You can see it's been generally accumulated. We did break the 200 period moving average, but uh, so there's a possibility we can consolidate down here for a while, but uh, generally the MJ sector doing okay. GRGW, Growth Generation Corp. I don't remember what this guy does. This one's not too bad. This one also a NASDAQ stock. And finding some support here at the 200 period moving average. So this one loosely in an uptrend, we broke all the moving averages right here, and we've been consolidating above the 200, which is loosely bullish. It was actually... A trend line here you can try to buy off of right there if you want to or or lower closer to the 200 period moving average with a tighter stop under the 200 period moving average uh, that one looks like and uh, not very good these are some uh, probably some other names that um, miracle grow huh Scott's miracle grow company yeah they loosely got in the marijuana business um, so maybe they could be one to get into as well they're a large growing company obviously they know how to grow stuff I don't remember exactly what what uh, portion they play, if they're actual growing the product or not. But you see a very large uptrend all year in a large cup and cup forming here. We could be handling. Maybe you start rallying in the first quarter to second quarter of next year. We'll see that uh, this thing is over the counter stock. Definitely a lot of risk involved in that one. And then KGKG, 
um, another one that is an over-the-counter stock and with a lot of inherent risk. So, but the larger MJ names you can see here are getting large percentage boosts and we've seen a little bit of accumulation. So we could be starting to turn the tide on some of these marijuana names. Let me know your guys' thoughts. If you've done some research or know about these, uh, please comment in the chat below. It's always good to, to kind of share that knowledge with everyone. Um, but yeah, so let me know. Let me know what you think about the MJ sector here. It's very early in a potential turnaround, but some of these names are showing very good accumulation signs. Uh, OGI actually wasn't on my initial list, but with this kind of volume, I'm actually not too not too mad at this one. This one looks pretty good. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me today. We do this. We do look at a lot of stocks every single day, right at the market open uh, here in the Real Stocks channel. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.